Jungle. So let's start with the robotic process automation. So I know this is like uh, the hot topic. So everyone should uh, know about what exactly is robotic process automation. So I, I'm giving you a small demo uh, and and I will cover your all the questions and queries, whatever the things you have in your mind. I'll definitely clear all the all the things. Okay. So let's start with the robotic process automation. Okay. Let's move to the next slide. See, so uh, the question is, uh, what exactly is robotic process RPA? So nothing but, if I explain to you what exactly is robotic process automation, so the automate any business process with intelligent scalable software robot. So this is the meaning like business process, intelligent scalable software robot. So first I'll explain you business process. So the business process basically it is it depends it it only automate the business process see there are the two differences in RPA and any testing tool you know about the QTP or UFT if anybody know or selenium there are a lot of automation tool which which test your application which validate your application so this is the same concept because it is uh, capturing all the objects the pattern of capturing uh, recording all the things are the same same uh, in automation uh, a robotics tool any robotics tool only difference is that this testing tool validate validate uh, it uh, it need need for the validation of any any of your screen and any of your buttons and objects etc but this robotic process automation is only for the business pro streamlining the business process to make automate manual repetitive task okay into the automate automation so this is the main difference between any uh, other testing automate automation tool versus this or uh, robotic process automation so uh, automate any business process with intelligent scalable software robot so intelligent software uh, scalable software robot that means your bot what you are developed in your in, uh, in in the tool the tool i mean to say that automation anywhere or blue prism ui path open span work fusion so this kind of tool so i'll let you explain in the next slide uh, extending my uh, this rp definition the next slide uh, so here's the uh, uh, more elaborate definitions. So what exactly is RPA? So robotic process automation enables you with tool to create your own software robot to automate any business process. See here it is uh, mentioned that uh, automate enables you with tools. Tools that means all the RPA tools. They're talking about all the RPA tools to create your own software robot to automate any business process, right? So we, we need to here we are not uh, program right the, we, uh, in this case like we are not saying that we are programming our code So here what we say that we are developing our bot or robo so the bot robo so bot is uh, Generic term in auto when you talk about the automation anywhere and the robo which comes in the blue prism So this is the two different terminology, but it is the working is the same Okay, and the second is your bots are configurable software setup to perform the task you assign and control exactly So the bots are con configurable or intelligent you can say that so configurable everyone knows about the what the configuration is if you are a developer or any field So there would be like some uh, uh, dynamic configuration file so that like any any time um, uh, You can change your uh, 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 Configuration value in that to make it more dynamic so bot are configurable. Yes exactly bot are configurable and it, you can can configure Figure you can instruct them. You can uh, you can perform any task with the bot and should and should not be static. It should be the dynamic one. Okay, and think of them as your digital workforce. Now you see this here. This uh, now the world is changing, right? From the from the manual workforce or you can say the human workforce from the uh, to the digital workforce or you can say the virtual workforce. So the, uh, again, there's a two terms. Uh, usually people are uh, saying that digital workforce or virtual work workforce. Both are the same, right? Okay, and show your bots what to do, then let them to do work. Yes, exactly. The uh, we need to instruct our bot. While developing our bot, we need to instruct the, our bot to how to perform and where to perform, when to perform, or the scheduling part, triggering part, all, all comes in the bot, right? So they can interact with any system or application the same way you do, exactly. So the interact with any system or application, see this is a very important thing in the RPA for anchoring application. So mostly what happens in the banking domain because in RPA we, uh, which is uh, mostly implemented in the banking do domain and audit companies, all the audit companies like KPMG, Deloitte and your ENY. So all these uh, 
those uh, audit companies as well as all the banking domains are implemented this RPA and heavily using this RPA tool and because the uh, they're anchoring up in banking domain if you if you talked about the banking domain there must be four or five uh, uh, mandatory uh, uh, anchoring application they are using like for example first is mainframe second would be your Lotus note outlook automation and your Excel with macro word document and your all all the desktop application as well as the web application as well as uh, additionally uh, any if any Java based application so these are all are the anchoring application or system or application right where the bot going to interact manipulate the data and publish their result as per the business rule okay so this anchoring application uh, uh, is uh, very important for any organization any uh, uh, domain to automate their bot okay so bot can learn they can also be cloned exactly bot can learn yes bot can learn because of cognitive way cognitive what is like it, it is artificial intelligence if if, uh, if you talk about the automation anywhere it has a cognitive like it is known as IQ bot which is uh, but uh, I can say that it is art, uh, moving towards the automation uh, artificial intelligence and none of the RPA tool if you if I say uh, UI path or blue prism or autonomy so um, I don't think so any other tool having this uh, cognitive uh, functionality in them yes cognitive is uh, in, in near future we will definitely see uh, all the AI things will be implemented uh, in the, all the RPA tool so hopefully it will uh, it, it will uh, integrate uh, to uh, all the RPA tool so so what can learn so uh, they can also be cloned exactly they can also be cloned because you know if, if you are developing your bot right and you can make it hundred of clones or thousands of clones that, that is up to your uh, number of license if you have like if you have a license of 100 uh, bots then you can uh, create the same copy of the bot to the 100 bots so and and then deploy multiply to the multiple VM machine so this is all about the RPA okay let's move the next slide so I'm giving you an example for the prerequisite to learn automation anywhere and the blue prism I'll explain both the things what are exactly prerequisite? So the prerequisite for the automation anywhere, it's a code free. Anyone can learn automation anywhere without any coding knowledge. Exactly, yes, yes, it is happening. So the automation anywhere, like uh, you, if you don't have any coding knowledge, but but uh, uh, when I say this, uh, you need not require the coding knowledge. Then it is not much like uh, you should have very good logic in that. You know, so how uh, it is only depends upon your logic. You know, coding. Uh, coding things that what we have in, in automation anywhere all the predefined commands you can simply drag and drop and make your logic so logic is very important thing in that so yes so I can say that uh, without coding knowledge you can still start automation anywhere and if you I, if you're talking about the blue prism yes you should have some uh, uh, some 20 or 30 percent knowledge of uh, of coding uh, either in the C sharp or uh, or in BB or J sharp uh, so, uh, if you have uh, uh, experienced something like in coding C sharp, that would be very good benefit uh, to you in Blue Prism, and same as in the automation anywhere. So yes, automation anywhere is quite easy, easier than the Blue Prisms. Okay. So, next slide. So, so this is you know this is the figure. Uh, what I'm saying that the automation anywhere engineer or robotic process automation engineer salary so this salary I can say that I'm not giving any hypothetical figures this is like all the Indian currency salary so what are what is that uh, exactly what the trend, uh, trend is going on so uh, if you if you are a conventional developer like I mean to say the conventional de developer would be like C sharp developer dot net developer or 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 Java developer these are our, uh, all are currently known as the as uh, um, uh, convention developer as compared to the robotic also automation so definitely if you have a six months of ex experience in RPA then definitely you will get uh, get 30 percent more hike than any other convention developer that is for sure believe me it is it is happening in currently it is happening and this is the right time to to come into this RPA field right and you have taken a very good decision to uh, to uh, to take opportunity of this uh, RPA and if you have like uh, more than two years of experience definitely believe me it you will get 100 percent hike than any of the any 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 of the conventional developer if you compare okay so this is the trend uh, even though you are very much aware of this okay let's move to the next slide so this is what the job increment and promotion and SQL Java PHP developers are remain as same and the RPA is like again in the hot speed so this is what the RPA tool demand in the LinkedIn. This is this is the LinkedIn data, guys. I am not uh, pulling out any data. Uh, this is all about the LinkedIn uh, uh, data, which is as of 27th May 2017. 
if you say the RPA tool, the automation anywhere is the 40 percent. They have demand in the blue prism, 32 percent. UI path is 17 percent. Open span is 9 percent, and work vision is 2 percent. So this is all about the trend, and uh, uh, might be in uh, some uh, couple of year it may be changed. But yes, right now we have only like automation anywhere, blue prism, and UI path. So this is these these all tools are leader in the market. Let's move to the next slide. So again, this data is from the LinkedIn statistics. You can see in the RPA vendor employees and followers. And you, uh, if you see in the LinkedIn statistics, automation anywhere employees is five, uh, 513 and follower 12,000 and something uh, 588. And UI path is 219 and work fusion 136, blue prism 113 and open span 62. So this, this record is again pulled by the LinkedIn. Okay. So this is again, uh, this data is also, I'm not pulling this data is coming from the Everest group. So the Everest group is uh, analyzing the uh, data of uh, uh, any RPA tool and they analyzes the leaders of the RPA tool. So the leaders are the Automation Anywhere, Blue Prism, UI Path and Thotonomy. So the uh, and Automation Anywhere and the UI Path is currently the star performer. And so these tools only remains in the market. I, I don't think so. It might be some other tool will come into the market so uh, let's move to the next slide again so this is like a general RPA implementation life cycle you know and in, in, in universe any object have a li uh, uh, life cycle right so same way like RPA has uh, the life cycle implementation life cycle I can uh, I'll explain you what exactly is the life cycle is RPA because it is not different than any other conventional developer what you are developing your code the same life cycle is implemented here so in RPA what happens uh, plan and analyze the phase you you can say that planning and analyzing or discovery or feasibility what you are seeing so this planning comes when what happens like if if you have if you are working in the banking domain and the bank has some some project to automate their manual work right and there are some manual tasks which is done by like hundred of uh, manual workforce or human workforce so uh, what happened they are analyze discovery and and they analyzes their feasibility if we are implementing this uh, 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 manual to auto automation how many employees we can reduce right so as per the uh, as per this formula, they are calculating their all the revenues and what their profit. Once they uh, once they analyze their their uh, they are going to have some good profit, then they definitely go for the uh, any consulting company like Deloitte or Accenture or whatever the companies, and then uh, uh, give them the project to automate any manual tasks to the automation. So uh, what happens when it comes to the any company uh, to the de developer, the developer uh, identify the anchoring application, what exactly have the anchoring application is there whether web or desktop and mainframe or uh, either we can automate our tool whatever I, we have a tool like automation anywhere or blue prism either our tool is able to spying able to capture the object or not able to identify the objects or not. So these all the identifications comes into the part uh, when you're going to start our uh, RPA development okay so after identifying we are developing our code simply implementing it from the implementation part would be three or four phases once you once you done your robot we have it like first is it would be the your uh, uh, SIT environment uh, then it will go to the your uh, 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 UAT environment then PPT pre-production environment and then production environment and then go live so these are all the common phases that we what we are uh, able to see in any conventional development okay so this is not much uh, different than any other the implementation of the life cycle would be the almost similar to any of the development so next move to the next slide so now so so this is the difference between you know the very important thing and no one will uh, uh, no, no one will explain you I am definitely sure about this because again it is like uh, a difference between this automation anyway tools and blue prism what exactly is different so this the difference is like what I have a, a total 11 differences but I have more than 50 differences in that so not possible to incorporate all the things into this at this moment because uh, 
there are some uh, uh, two concepts in that so once you enroll in uh, this uh, uh, training uh, i'll definitely explain each and everything and practically as well as manual uh, uh, all the documentations and user manuals i'll definitely share you okay so let's start with the automation anywhere and the blue prism so if you say the first point what's the difference between the automation anywhere and the blue prism the first is the automation anywhere separate control room v10 and above web based right so you can say that control room is a separate from the automation anywhere that is in in the web based so that it it means that control room is nothing but a brain of any rpa tool right so so if your control room is separate that means your control room uh, uh, that means that hundred of so let's say if your hundred of client machine is get is connected to the control room and the control room is a separate right if anywhere any point of time if you want to upgrade your control room you can directly upgrade to the single point where the control room is located right but if you say in the blue prism so you need to uh, upgrade control room each and every machine because it is not separate it is integrated with this uh, client rpa client so uh, so this is the biggest advantage for the automation anywhere second would be you can say the no queue management system yes yes in the automation anywhere the queue management is missing and blue prism very strong queue management system so again i'll explain some little bit about the queue management what exactly is, is and uh, queue management system is let's say uh, you have developed your bot right and you you have to deploy in uh, uh, four machine right parallelly suppose and you have a input source of data like a spreadsheet right and you have a hundred of records in that and your task is to read one by one uh, data from the spreadsheet and then manipulate the data and then publish your result okay so if you say if suppose if multiple bot if you deploy your bot to the multiple vm machine and if the multiple v, uh, bots will directly go to the uh, input source and and trying to fetching the data at the same time it is not it is not like uh, in work in the uh, excel sheet it is not possible you know like if you reading some data from the one row and at the same time you are not able to read or write data to the excel sheet so it will like lock uh, excel sheet in, internally lock uh, in the read mode read mode right so in the queue management what happens there is a queue system which is a kind of tabular kind of you can say and it it will import all the data required data from the excel to the queue right after getting done uh, after getting all the data into the queue the, uh, the process will uh, bot will start one by one right so first bot will execute first uh, first record and and lock the record right and the second bot will when it comes and it see it is able to see that uh, the first record has been locked i'll go to the next record so this kind of thing which is known as a queue management managing your work into the queue right so the queue management is missing in automation anywhere and, and the blue prism is a very strong queue management so might be uh, in october uh, they are going to automation anywhere are going to release their version 11 so must be they have some queue management system in that hopefully so next the third point would be 400 plus inbuilt command and sub command yes it's a very good good thing like you know if you go in the automation anywhere that the their commands are very beneficial for to for us to develop code very fastly because they have a more than 400 inbuilt commands and sub commands okay and same way if you compare about the blue prism the very less inbuilt objects yes they have a very less inbuilt object and you need to develop your own code to uh, to uh, uh, develop your objects right objects here uh, in blue prism you can say that objects and in the automation anywhere we are saying that commands and sub commands both are the same only terminology is different right fourth point very easy faster to develop bot without any programming knowledge yes exactly i already explained because of this command uh, inbuilt commands we can directly drag and drop and make your logic and finish your work at, uh, at a very uh, uh, very soon so in this if you compare to the blue prism not easy, easy to develop robot uh, at some level of uh, like programming knowledge you should know and developing your and as a part of, um, compared to automation anywhere yes because we have some uh, we required some uh, programming knowledge in blue prism to uh, develop code right so get next to the f next slide automation anywhere maintenance of bots are very difficult yes exactly because the thing is that in automation anywhere when, when you code it is in linear linear sequential order line by line right if you compare to the blue prism it is in, it, it, it would be in the flow chart right so 
what are the thing in the flow chart it is very easy to uh, understand and easy to uh, maintain right but for the any linear sequential kind of uh, commands then it will definitely uh, uh, take some time to maintain your uh, bots okay and the same thing so bot are developed in linear sequential robots are developed in the uh, um, blue prism robot developed in the flow chart right right uh, yes and the seventh point is you can say the very strong in security yes in automation anywhere if you compare to the blue prism is a very much strong security as a point point of view as you say because i am giving you Bring you one example in automation anywhere. Uh, let's say suppose if you want to save any username password in your uh, in in your application application. I mean to say there there are some uh, uh, UI level uh, settings, right? And there are setting file setting, and you need to uh, write your username password. So what happens normally in in Blue Prism? If you write this username or password or any credential, that would that would store in the UI. Right in the UI level, and you can directly uh, reveal all the uh, passwords. So the simple way to right-click to the task manager and uh, create a dump file. And once you have created the dump file with the help of hex edit, there is a small tool known as hex edit. You can easily reveal the, all the password. Right. So it is you know in the banking domain, if you consider it as a banking domain, it's very security concern is very priority in the in for them. So that's why the automation anywhere is a very secure, and the Blue Prism is going towards their uh, security part more. But uh, right now they don't have any much stronger security than in the automation anywhere. So if go to the last eight points, uh, uh, not last uh, in the next slide also. So once the user like if you if you regi register your user with automation anywhere right with the one machine right, and once registered with the username, if you want to log into the some other machine with the same username, and your client is pointing to the same database right. So it 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 won't uh, allow you to log in because of security. Because once you register your username in in the particular machine, it will register to the machine level binding, right? MAC address. You need to remove your MAC MAC uh, uh, your physical device in that. Then then you can like uh, log in. So this is the case. Uh, but in the Blue Prism, you are not able you are able to uh, register user can log into other machine also. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, this is the in automation anywhere. Ninth point is calibration functionality is implemented and no calibration functionality is implemented in, into the Blue Prism. Yes, exactly. In automation anywhere, calibration functionality. I am explaining you what exactly is calibration fun functionality. Let me give one example. Like suppose you have a calculator, right? Standard calculator in your system, and if you want to automate your two plus three, right? Suppose two plus three equal to five. You you need to automate your uh, this. Uh, button so what time is once you automate and someday like in the, uh, another day like uh, uh, your standard uh, calculator becomes scientific calculator in, in this condition your bot definitely fails because of your location screen location screen size button locations all are being changed so so uh, uh, one way to do this to maintain your bot to go to the code and and again spy your uh, spy your objects and then makes uh, as per the scientific uh, calculator and the second way is to auto calibration which is comes into the, into the meta bot you just auto calibrate this uh, uh, your screen uh, this uh, automation anywhere automatically incorporate all the changes objects into the repository and uh, you can use it without changing any code so these are very good feature in the automation anywhere for the calibration then but in the blue prism is not see guys this is uh, some functionality actually I, I I'm uh, then uh, when you come into the session the live session definitely it will more clear uh, than anything okay so uh, go to the point second the IQ bot is cognitive functionality is implemented as I explained the automation anywhere have uh, the cognitive things so or artificial intelligence which is comes into the IQ bot so in automation anywhere you can say the three bots totally one is task part uh, task bot second is a meta bot third is a IQ bot so so these three kind of bots are in the automation anywhere but in the blue prism uh, there is not such kind of thing in the blue prism so and go to the 11th point uh, not supporting word automations custom need code need to be developed or third party deal required yes exactly in the automation anywhere so you are not able to uh, automate your word document it is not supported right but you can do it by like uh, making your own custom uh, uh, programming and then make it DLL and with the help of meta bot you can add logic in that so again you can do it from the automation anywhere but you can go for the blue prism very good uh, they handle uh, by the inbuilt objects they have an in, uh, inbuilt object for the word automation and they can handle properly so thanks a lot thanks